Well, today we have Hunky Dory's pocket pads. Now, these are something new. There are five of them, as you can see. Beautiful botanicals, garden visitors, mystic moments, perfect pets, music to my ears, and wait till you see what Heidi has done with them. Well, there is a preview. She absolutely loved this mouse that was from the garden visitors. So please, won't you come play with us? Before we get into the projects, I just want to tell you a little bit of information about these. They measure two and seven eighths inches, so almost three inches by four and an eighth, so say three by four inches. There are 150 sheets in here, so just wow, lots and lots. There are uh, 16 designs and you get four of each one, so that's going to work out very nicely and I read them off to you and we're going to do them in this sequence. So let me start with our first one. And this is actually using two. We're going to start with, well, I guess we're gonna actually start with our card. <laughs> so let me show you what Heidi has done. So this is a five by six and a half inch card, but she has done something on our card front. So if you take your card, and uh, it comes like this, it's flat, it's scored in the middle, it has envelopes with it too, and turn it like this, and measure one and a half inches from each side, and you can see I've drawn a line, and then cut along that line right to the score line, but not going over it. That's really important. Then this, you're gonna have a flap here, so cut a half an inch off of that flap, and then you will have this piece. So it's gonna be just like that. Now, what Heidi has done is she's played, as I said, with two of these. So let me show them to you. <clears throat> and I think I'll talk about this one first, okay? So this is out of Garden Visitors, and it is this bee, and I think it is just so pretty. But you can kind of see the difference of what Heidi has done. So here it is flat, <clears throat> and then Heidi has raised it. So she has taken it, and um, first of all, she has matted it. And it's just a very narrow mat, but it is on the sunflowers cardstock. So you can see that there is this, um, this orangey gold. So there's kind of this orangey and there's also a gold. And she matted this on the gold, a very narrow border, as I said, about a 16th of an inch, and then placed it on that flap. And let me just point out that it is, has a little bit of a white edge all the way around more so on the bottom three, narrower toward the score line. Then she placed the uh, gold thin line dazzles. You can get them um, by the sheet. And she placed that around the edge and it just adds such a finishing touch. Just a really nice piece there. Now, she has this piece down, but then you've got five other pieces. So she went back and she cut out the B. She also cut out these pieces. So let me just show them to you. So that rectangle, that one, th and this one as one piece. Then she foam taped these up so you can see it's, it's lifting. Then she took her B and she used a bone folder to curve the wings. So you just, you know, kind of like your curling ribbon. So just lifted those wings and foam taped that on top. So she did the wings as a piece and then she did the body as a piece too, okay? So those two pieces curve the wings and it just is just a really nice, nice look. I love the wings. Foam tape them, of course, in place. Now that bow, in fact, the first time I saw this, I kind of missed the bow because it's just such a perfect match. Um, Heidi uses Hunky Dory's Bow Maker. It's just a great tool. And she used it with the brown ribbon set to tie that bow and zod it in place. So it just does a really nice job. The, all the colors <clears throat> are beautifully coordinating there. Now, the other thing that she has done is um, she's added some crystals, actually just a couple. And this is from the gold and silver collection also from Hunky Dory. These are self-adhesive 
and there are 84 pieces in that package so that's going to last you a little bit and she also um, has add some dazzles so we've got high there we've got more on the inside and this is coming from the we're together in more colors and you can see gold here but this is brown and of course brown is the color that's really supporting especially this piece now there are extra little flowers and extra things in there so she's really taken advantage of that now we're going to go to the inside of our card so here, she did a collage of flowers. And the flowers are, of course, from the beautiful botanicals. That makes perfect sense, doesn't it? And she has used these two, both of them. And that I thought was kind of interesting because she has used three of each of them. And you can really see it by the yellow one. So you can see that there's one there, one there, one in the middle. The white daisies are kind of taking uh, a back road to those bright yellow ones, but because the white ones are there, you can really see the yellow ones. And so she has placed those on a piece of white cardstock, and um, the it is matted onto that gold. Again, that is from the sunflower solid cardstock. And she repeated, remember on the front, she used the thin line gold? She repeated that on both edges on the inside of her card. So when you have this closed, that all looks very coordinated, and that's very nice. Same thing with the crystals. She's got those. She had them on the front, so that repeats. Now, she wanted to get a greeting in here, so she went to an old favorite, the eight labels for your greetings, and she used this one. And she actually die cut it twice. And at first I didn't see that, but when, um, but when you say it, <laughs> you can see it. So there's one here out of the uh, same cardstock, and then also out of a whiter cardstock. She did ink them, and she used the uh, Velvet Fawn. That's a very gentle color. It works really well, especially when you're doing uh, subtle colors like this. So she used the blending brush again, put this on a craft mat, dipped it and rubbed it before she foam taped those two together and put them in the center of her card. This is simply a knotted ribbon out of the brown set. The hello there and the heart that is from the Dazzles collection, the We're Together. And you just want to make sure that that's positioned so obviously you can't see it when the card is closed. So really a very cheery card and um, a nice way to use. Now, in this case, she's only used uh, one of the garden visitors. She's only used two of those. So there's lots and lots left. So that's good to know. Okay, now we're going to move to our mystic moments. And our mystic moments is this one. And you can see we have a sweet little fairy. And the thing about these pocket pads is um, in many cases they need to go with something else. So you can kind of go through your array of products and see what's going to work. In this case, with the blues in here, what Heidi selected was the uh, Frosted Flowers collection. So let me just show you. You can see the blues there. The solid cardstock is going to support that nicely. And I'll show you what else she used in a minute. So we're going to get in close to this and see. So this is a five inch square card. I guess not that close. <laughs> Back up just as there you go. I want to see the whole card. Um, so this is a five inch square card. Now you can buy five inch square cards. Hunky Dory has some. Or you can uh, simply trim down your five by six and a half inch card. Cut one and a half inches off the base, uh, the, the length of it, and it will make it five by five. And what Heidi did is she took this six by six piece, in fact, it's the one on the front, trimmed it down to fit on her card, and then matted it on a light blue out of the solid card stock and glued it to her card front. Now, she did allow the card's white edge to show, so that worked nicely. Now, this piece 
is what she used right here. And she matted it also on the light blue. You can kind of see it right there, it's matching. And glued that, and she glued it even with the fold of the card and then down. But look what else she has done. To begin with, she cut out the fairy and foam taped her on top. So it's just matching the art. But I think the real magic is in what she did with the chipboard. And with the chipboard, so that's what all of these are. And I love it. So the lady took two of the tri-blend markers, happened to use the hydrangea and the citrus uh, blend, citrus green blend. And as you probably know, there are three shades in every single pen. So that's a great deal. And she simply colored the green on the leaves and the purple, the hydrangea on the dots. But then she used crystal lacquer, which I absolutely love. And I think it is so underrated and use that on the uh, buds. And they're going to be shiny, as you can see. Okay, very shiny, very nice. So you let that dry. It's gonna take a little while. Um, when I've used it, I think it dries in like about an hour, maybe less. It just kind of depends on how warm your house is. The last thing that she did, or I guess before she glued it on, is she took the sparkle pen, this is uh, from Crafter's Companion, and simply went over the pieces, and you're going to get more sparkle. In fact, you can see it right there. So you're getting the shine from the crystal lacquer, but you're also getting a sparkle from the sparkle brush. So that's a good deal. And you can see where she has glued them um, underneath that layer of the, um, of the fairy. The hello and cozy up this winter, those are cutouts from the six by six frosted flowers. And she's also added um, pearls. These are the blue pearls from Hunky Dory. So you can see the lighter ones she used on the front. Okay, she did uh, make a bow, again with a bow maker, using the white ribbon. And that was zotted right here. On the inside of her card, she has used this piece, also from the uh, Mystic Moments. And she did put that and matted it onto a light green, also from the cardstock. But first she covered the inside of her card with this light green. So to do that, all you do is take your adhesive, go right around the edge, place your paper down, and then press it down, turn it over, and trim it to fit. Super, super easy. You don't have to measure anything, and it always works. Then trim down. This is the pink uh, frosted flowers. Glue it down, and then put this piece. These pieces, this is a cutout, this is a cutout, this is a cutout, are all from the six by six frosted flowers, and you can see them. This is more of our chipboard. And that too has been done with the hydrangea, with the um, uh, lacquer, and also the sparkle brush. So there's one, two, three pieces there. And purple, purple um, pearls on the inside. Really pretty. I love the idea of the fairy on top and then going into her enchanted house on the inside. Okay, I have two more for you. Okay, now we're going to move into perfect pets. And uh, you may not have a mouse as a pet, but that's okay. Um, I have to tell you, Heidi absolutely loved this image. She just thought it was so darling. And this is a sidestep card. Isn't that fun? And I have to tell you, I love what she did with it. And this is using our sidestep card cutting die. So this is, a perfect way to get this piece. And you can see that, let me get these pieces out of the way. She die cut it out of patterned cardstock. Look at that. And what did she use? Well, obviously she used a Strawberry Delight patterned cardstock as well as solid cardstock. 
So she used the cutting die, placed it on the cardstock, ran it through a die cutting machine, and the instructions are on the back of the package telling you how to fold it super, super easy, and that worked very nicely. Now, what else she did is um, she took this little guy and matted him on something that, okay, well, let me just tell you, do you see that sparkle? Okay, that is with this. That is with Red Hearts Holographic. Now, what I love, well, first of all, that's very much in your face, but when you mat it, what you end up getting is just a flash of color and shine, and I think it's very smart that she did that. So it was matted on the dark green out of the Strawberry Delight. And when she glued it to the card front, she went over that side flap, okay? Just over a little, about, about half an inch into the open area. That's perfectly fine. Then she used, these are the cutouts that are from the Strawberry Delight 12 by 12 pattern cardstock. So the Always Thinking of You is down flat, the I like you so very much is also matted on the holographic. Then she again went into the chipboard. The woman was on a roll, colored it with, let me see, this is the dark red and the light green. Isn't that interesting? Even though this is light green, it has a darker color in it that worked beautifully for the strawberry tops. So even though they're connected, you can get the different colors. And I love the shading that she did. Didn't she do a beautiful job? Once again, the wonderful to use and highly overrated, underrated, is the 3D Crystal Lacquer. And you can just really see what a great job that does. So perfect and so easy, yes, to do. And a bow, of course, out of the um, red ribbon collection done with the bow maker, zotted in place. And then on the inside here, Unforgettable You is another of the cutouts matted on the red heart, more of the chipboard, and isn't that gorgeous how that curves around, another bow zotted. And all of this is just does a wonderful job of that charming mouse. <laughs> really, really cute and a great use of all of those items. Okay, I've got one more. And look at this. Now, Heidi's son is a musician, so um, she's always one to really grab something that has music on it. And this is from the Pocket Pal called Music to My Ears, so of course. Now, you'll notice that this card is rocking, uh, which is perfect for a music card. It is another cutting die. This is a circular step card cutting die, really neat. Same thing, the instructions are on the back, easy to make, kind of foolproof. And she did this out of Black Mary. So look at that shine. How neat is that? In fact, I think I will put white under this so you can really, really take advantage of it. So look at that, it almost looks like patent leather, doesn't it? So that has been cut out. And what I love that she did is the extra things. So this is the piece. <laughs> there it is. Now she did trim this down. It's a little bit smaller. The measurements are down below. And she did mat it. And she used, this is Seafoam and Pearls cardstock. Now Seafoam and Pearls has nothing to do with music, but the colors are just wonderful. So she used that. In fact, you can kind of see the colors here and how that's going with the seafoam and pearls. That's important to note because we'll be using that. So she matted it first on the blue and then on the orange. And then she attached the bottom of that to the bottom of her card front, right smack dab in the center. I also think it was brilliant how she put the silver thin line dazzles. Now you can get this by the sheet and put it in the center of the cream area. Doesn't that just add some pizzazz to it? You can see it before and after, what a deal. Now, she also used some dyes and the one that she chose 
are the nine little words. In fact, a story to tell you is that we were out of this for years. We just found a box. Yeah, I hate to tell you that, but we found a box. So this is now available until that box is empty. And she die cut this out of the black, also out of the silver Mary. Both of them are shiny. Double stack them and glued them together so the smile and the heart and then place them at an angle down at the bottom. She used the silver studs, which just worked perfectly. And I love it in the center of the, uh, of the uh, uh, cart, <laughs> of the uh, record, <laughs> blah, 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 of the record. Okay, now let me show you what she did to the inside. Look at that. So she reproduced that Ray's look. And so what you do is you're gonna die cut your, um, piece again, but then you only want this bottom area, so just trim that out. So die cut it out of black. Then, clever woman that she is, she went to a template. This is our Easy Sunburst template. And die cut, excuse me, traced and cut out of some of the colors, in fact, two of the colors. This is the orange and the blue, so that she could get those angles, because those angles are just a bit tricky. And then she could place them on, or glue them onto the Black Mary. Now, at this point, it is not attached into the card, okay? So you want to um, cut these, you know, trace them, cut them, glue them, before you put this piece of Mary into the card. That's just gonna make it easier. Also, go ahead and do your thin line dazzles. Again, you're echoing what's going on on the card front. Thanks and this open heart are also part of that uh, nine cutting die collection. Then you can glue this inside and you are done. So my friends, there is a ton that you can do with these little pocket pals. And Heidi, I think has honestly just scratched the surface. So, these are new, they are in stock, and I think I'm gonna pile these. <laughs> and um, I think Heidi's done, done a really nice job of giving us lots of variety and lots of ideas. Okay, we do have a money saver, so if you want all of them, go on the right-hand side of your screen. Um, all of the instructions are down below, so you can see that. You can see all of the materials. That template might be something new to you but I have a feeling it's going to come in handy now that you have an idea of how to use it. Um, if you are watching us on YouTube, we hope you'll like us, subscribe, and come on over and take advantage of that money saver. Look at those instructions if you like. And um, I wanna thank Heidi for doing a fabulous job and also especially to you for being part of our Paper Wishes family. We'll see you next time.